defiant in their red overalls and berets, the newly formed Namibia Economic Freedom Fighters, who were just last week provisionally registered by the electorate as a political party, were adamant that they are the next government in waiting. The party similarities seem apparent with policies on both ends, including nationalization of mines, seizures of white-owned land and fighting for economic emancipation together with their loud red outfits and determination to oust leaders who have governed for what they called too long. All this would constitute a sister party, but according to the NEFF, this could not be further from the truth. We share the same ideology, but nowadays, for the formation of NEF, everybody is asking the questions. Are we related? Where do we get our funds and all? We have political parties in Namibia, <coughs> affiliated to who? Having friendships in, in South Africa, having friends, even the ruling party, having friends in Angola, having friends in Zimbabwe, having friends in South Africa. Who's questioning them? Why are people concerned? Since the NEFF burst onto the political scene a few months ago, there has been a keen interest from a handful of people. But the question is, what impact will this party have come the November polls? Asked what they feel their chances are at the polling stations come November, the party is very confident and is of the conviction that people are ready for change. We are going to be the next sworn-in government on the 21st of March. It was formed out of the outcry of the Namibian people. The Namibian people <coughs> are tired of these people that are eating and enjoying themselves while they, our people are suffering. Rosa Carvalho is a staunch NEFF supporter. She tells us why. I feel we need change and we are tired of empty promises. Thus, we direct ourselves into a path that has more of a clear vision. And more of the political parties are not so involved into the youth as NFF. The Namibia Economic Freedom Fighters are currently working towards its launch and its manifesto, which will come soon after the Swapo Electoral Colleges, as according to them, quite a number of the Swapo party members will then join the new kids on the block. If actions by their South African counterparts are anything to go by, the political stage is set for an interesting election year.